This hour of coverage is brought to you by Cool More America. Watch American Pharaoh, the horse of a lifetime on Cool More TV. And they're off. Number three, Dreams to Reality, veered out a bit at the start. She's towards the back of the pack. Whistling Straits is out for the early lead with Lost Raven running in second, and Katniss the victor is next in third. On the outside is Floridora in fourth. Mo Damore finds a spot down at the rail. As the field goes into the clubhouse turn, at the back are Arch or Nothing and Dreams to Reality. Whistling Straits has the lead here by a length over Lost Raven. With Mo Damore, a close-up third, and the favorite, Katniss the victor, right there on the outside in fourth. The quarter went in 24 and three-fifths seconds as they head up the back stretch, whistling straights three-quarters of a length. Lost Raven in second by three parts of a length, and Katniss the victor's on the outside in third. Mo Damore has had a good trip thus far, is fourth, but just two and a half from the front. Then Floridora running in fifth and a gap of three to Dreams to Reality and Arch or Nothing. Half mile, 49 and two, and the three-year-old Phillies head for the far turn. Whistling straights, holds on to a narrow lead over Lost Raven. Katniss the victor on the outside in third, and Mo Demore remains in fourth. It's still whistling straights. Lost Raven now right alongside. Katniss the victor is third as the field hits the top of the stretch. Three quarters went in 114. Katniss the victor has taken the lead now from Lost Raven. Mo Demore has come off the inside and is gaining ground. And Dreams to Reality is putting in a big run out in the middle of the track. Here's Mo Demore now to take the lead from Katniss the victor. Dreams to Reality on the outside. They come down for the finish. And Mo Demore has won the busher. Congratulations out to the Connections, King of Prussia, Stables, Todd Pletcher, and again, a longtime man of that team, Christopher DiCarlo, getting the W here with Modia Moore taking the Busher Stakes. You're right about that longtime combination, these two, Chris DiCarlo and Todd Pletcher, and had the chance to uh, call them together uh, winning at Monmouth Park. In fact, after Chris came back from being on the sidelines, but Mo Damore by Uncle Mo out of a scat daddy mare. And so this was a, talk about a, a cool more special all the way around here. We have looking at Lucky in the money as well in this race. And uh, look at this, very nice performance from Mo Damore, who is, uh, Uncle Mo is just uh, really, you can't say enough. It's just every day, it's the new Uncle Mo. Yeah. And uh, they've, uh, they've been very fortunate and he is beautifully bred and that's why they got a hold of him. And, Uncle Mo doing his job, no doubt about it. If, if you bred to Uncle Mo early, what a dream scenario that was because uh, the value, absolutely extraordinary. So congratulations to our partners at Coolmore, absolutely dominating the pedigree, top and bottom on the winner and the sire of the second place finisher. And I'll tell you something, the Ocala sale also, $75,000 through the sales ring of 2015. And right now, for what we're looking at, that looks like a pretty sound investment. So Good for them. Congratulations. See All what right. the future holds. This is a, a race where, you know, she's going to need to now step up a little bit more, but she's certainly in the right hands.